Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the previous video, we did the entire first cycle of the game, which is what a three-day period of time is called here, where we basically messed around in Glock Town until we could go up and defeat the Skull Kid. We failed to do that, but we did get the Ocarina of Time, and now we're going to return to the Happy Mask Salesman, and hopefully get turned back to normal. Fingers crossed. I'm not close enough, I guess. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh, oh, oh! You got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! Then listen to me. Please, play the song that I'm about to perform, and remember it well. Yes, he pulled that organ out of nowhere. It's alright. So it's uh, left, right, down, left, right, down. And uh, it's actually worth mentioning that... Uh, well, hold on. Let me, let me play it first. We played the Song of Healing. What's gonna happen is Link's gonna go all woozy doozy again. And this time he's gonna re-enter his nightmare. But instead of him getting chased by the Deku Scrub, he's gonna be waving it goodbye. Everyone give a nice hearty goodbye, Deku Scrub. And with that, we are lifted from the curse. And our face falls off! Just kidding. Our face didn't fall off. We are returned to Human Link, and we have been given the Deku Mask. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside of the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you last were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Boom, first mask of the game. You wonder why they call it Majora's Mask? This is why. You got the Deku Mask to keep as a memento. Press start and yep, just equip it. Wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Deku. And of course, we can always revert it. Now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So, please give me the, that which you promised me. Oh, bad news, my friend. Uh, no mask. Don't tell me. My mask? You did. Get it back. Didn't you? What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen! That mask was stolen from me. It is called Majora's Mask. Roll credits! <laughs> it is an accursed item from the legend that is said to have been used by an ancient trade tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears the mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great the Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in a shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask when I finally had it. I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that very unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I'm begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. I believe in your strengths. Believe! Cool. Alright, so, uh, what I was gonna mention is that the Song of Healing is Saria's song backwards. Uh, Saria's song is played down right left, down right left, and that one's left right down. Anyway, just a little thing. I don't know if that was intentional or means anything at all, but here we go! We are free now! That mask. Their Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things! Well, whatever it takes, we've gotta do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail is trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside of town. There's one in each compass direction. What do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Cool. Not important. We're gonna put on the mask first and watch the gross cutscene of Link going through much pain. Ew. And we're Deku now! Surprise, surprise, we can transform at will. 
So it is important to note that we did reset the day cycle by playing the Song of Time, and that means that we do not have any of the items that were removable. So our rupee value is back to zero, unless it's in the bank, in which case it is saved. If we were to have Deku Nuts, uh, those would also be reset to zero. All that stuff. All right, so anyway, let's uh, let's just do the normal daily Clock Town stuff. We grabbed the Great Fairy there. I'm gonna take the mask off really quickly. And that was because um, we were told that if we return to the Great Fairy with um, with that uh, last Stray Fairy, she will help us in our human form, and that's exactly what we are. So we're gonna reach out and try and get that. All right, cool. So we're here in East Clock Town now for something of minor importance. As you can no doubt assume, now that we are Human Link, we're able to do a lot more. And one of those things we're able to do is actually become a bomber. I think we're going to take care of that in the next episode. Not this one. It'll depend on our, our timing, really. Uh, but if, if you notice, we can head over here and uh, jump across this place. And if we go up here and then round... Nope, round the corner. There we go. Up here around the corner, we can get a chest. And if we open this chest, we will get... Dun 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 100 rupees. That is a great item to have. All right, here we go. So, we're going to be going around the four different areas of Clock Town and taking care of some minor business. There's a couple of items we can get in each of the areas, and I am just in dire, dire need of them. So I'm going to get them all. Here we go. We're in here North Clock Town again. There is a place we can go up here if we walk up the slide. It is slippery. Come on, all the way down now. I know I failed. Oh, no, come on. Let me do this. Darn it. Okay, here we go. This way. And then round this way. Keep going. Ah, oh, jeez. You know, I'm just going to try full sending it. Here we go. No stops. Oh, I almost made it with no stops. Here we go. Come on. Up we go. And around. Perfect. We actually did it. Cool. Okay. If we hop over here and then hop over here, we can get another piece of heart. We already collected uh, one, and now we have two. Neat. Okay, so uh, let's head into the Great Fairy and deal with her right now. There we go. It's going to be basically the same thing we got before. We're basically going to go up and we return the Stray Fairy. By the way, every time you reset, the Stray Fairy does uh, go away again. She does become shattered, so if you ever need to speak to her for whatever reason, you got you to gotta get the Stray Fairy back. Here we go. All right. Hello, Miss Fairy. Oh, Tattle, and you, kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your wariness as a token of my gratitude. Nice! So she's going to give us a heal, as well as uh, giving us a little bit of a beam thing. Cool. But that's not what I'm interested in, Great Fairy. Come on. Pay up. Oh, kind young one, scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and turn them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good that the stray fairies shall not fear you. And we get our second mask of the game, the great fairy mask. And when we have it, stray fairies will fly to us and the hair will glow when a stray fairy is in the room as us. Same room as us. Come back whenever your quest has made you weary. Alright, so there are two different categories of masks. Let's head outside and I can explain them really, really quickly. They're not at all complex. They're very, very simple to remember. So if we were to equip uh, the Stray Fairies or Great Fairies mask, this is just a normal mask. We put it on our face. It does mask things. If you were to put on the Deco mask, though, that is called a transformation mask because it transforms Link. Very, very simple naming, but, you know, still, uh, still worth note. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to go ahead and take care of getting the Bomber's Notebook right now. Joining the Bomber's Gang as, uh, what's his name? Jake? What's your name? Jim. Oh, Jim. As Jim said, we can, uh, you know, we can't, bleh, I'm messing up my words. We can join the Bomber's Gang, and he will give us a Bomber's Notebook. That's it. Cool. So we have to play the same tag game as before. Uh, they're all in the exact same places, actually. It's like, they're not super good at hiding. Why am I running the wrong way? They're all in the same place. I'm gonna go this way to fake you out. So they are the exact same speed and, and stuff. Dude, you're stuck. Oh no, get back here. Dude. Child. No, no, no. Okay. It's worth mentioning the guards don't let you out if you're a Deku Link. 
That's why they blocked the way. I never actually showed that off. Hold on, this kid is actually a big pain. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? You know what? Here, I'm fast as this guy. So here you go. You wanna go? Let's go. Get away from there. Oh my gosh, this kid is so frustrating. I literally tucked you into a corner! Alright. Oh, you are just the most frustrating child on this planet, aren't you? I would love to see how much your parents pay for you to get babysat. I'm... I'm... not Jim. I have a very, very real gang. Okay. Oh no! Oh, did I just mess it up? Hold on, I think I just messed it up. Let me, uh... Let me... Oh, ugh. I did not remember that you cannot be Deku when you play that if you sign up as a kid. Uh, hopefully that didn't mess that up. If it did, that's not too big of a deal. Um, let's see. Uh, well, he's back and he is moving. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can, we can just resume. Alright. Well, this is a bit of a shame, in all honesty. I was hoping to do better than terribleness. Oh, you're a little weenie. You're a weenie boy. <laughs> you know that? There you go. Back to a corner. Okay, cool. Jeez. Okay, now that I caught that kid, we can move on to actual fun stuff again. If we go through here, we'll be back here in South Clock Town, and uh, this is a statue we walked by a couple times. I didn't really pay attention to it, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk to it. Ye who hold the sacred sword, leave proof of our encounter. He means bopping. Smack him with your sword. This is an owl statue. It allows you to f teleport to him eventually. You can also save your game here. Uh, however, when you save it, uh, you can actually only, uh, it's like a quick save almost, so when you reload the save, you can only play through, like, it won't permanently save, basically. So if you save at that owl statue, and then you try and, uh, you know, load the game, maybe play for a couple minutes and you're like, oh shoot, I gotta go eat dinner, you close the game, it's gonna reset you to your first, uh, your, your dawn of the first day of whatever cycle you're on. Okay, kid. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm literally just gonna use my acrobatics against you. Y you are so frustrating. Oh, 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 come on! Come on! You're t- Oh, jeez! I'm sorry. I get frustrated. Uh, that is not the building I wanna go into. This is the building I wanna go into. Here we go. Doing a little bit of multitasking. This is the swordsman's school. This is training center's friendly, polite, 24-hour, 101 training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. From now until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So will you try it? We will do the expert course for 10 rupees, because we are cool, and he basically says we need to chop down the logs with jump attacks, I believe? Chop it down! There we go. Um... Oh, hey, can you please target next time, Link? Thank you. And... Oh no! I just got the big fail. That's actually highly unfortunate. I think I have to completely reset now. Which is awful, because I didn't want to have to completely reset, but now I do. I'm not going to get the perfect record, and that means I won't get the cool item that we were going to receive. Whatever, I'll just chop them like that. Whatever. No point in trying anymore. Your training is insufficient. You must jump more! Start over from the beginning. No. Take my money. I get 100 free rupees every day. It's worth mentioning that, uh, that rupee I did get... It does respawn every single day. Oh, uh, there's no way I'm, I'm succeeding in this one. Nope. Not even worth trying anymore. Just let me leave. I will re-enter and figure this out. I'm gonna get this. Alright. It is ruining our day. We do have a lot of things we need to take care of. And, uh, you know. This is gonna cost me so many rupees. It's the curse of the Let's Play button. I click the Start Recording. And that means I'm going to do bad. For real, though, how bad can I be doing? Okay, well... That's uh, not even worth it. I missed one already. <laughs> Why am I so bad? Jeez. This is like the archery minigame in Gerudo Valley all over again. <laughs> that was so bad. I did like 20 attempts on that. What? I have, I have infinite rupees, so it doesn't really matter. Granted, they don't appear to be infinite, but they are infinite. Okay, I'm going to try and play a little bit slower this time, because the game obviously gives you plenty of time to complete the course. You don't need to be doing any speed tricks. Just have to target and jump, 
and target and jump. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Target, jump. Very, very simple. Once you calm down and stop trying to be all good at the game, you know, if anyone clicks off the video because I did bad, shame on you. Anyway, there we go. Hmm, impressive. I must give you something. Here! Howdy doody, piece of heart number three. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. Nice, thanks for ruining my day. Anyway, um, I think that's all I have to do in West Clock Town. Let's cut over to East Clock Town then, so that we can uh, finish up what we were doing over there. I think afterwards we'll get access to the Bomber's Notebook, which is what we are aiming for. And then that might be it for the, uh, for this, oh, wow. You just ran off right away. Well, that's very efficient for me. Get out of there. <laughs> I chopped him in half. All right. By the way, I've noticed that the game lags sometimes. I don't know why. I'm running it on a Wii. It's not like this is a game I'm running at like max settings or something and that it can't support it. Like it's it's a, it's a Wii game. Or it's, it's a GameCube game, actually. It's running on my Wii. I don't know why it sometimes has these little frames. I don't know. It's a Nintendo game. I mean, I don't, I don't know. That's a little bit... What's gonna happen is gonna happen, basically. Look at these two dudes juggling. What is their problem? Okay, I think you're gonna bounce off pivot. No, 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 no! Oh, you, you, you child, you. Okay, Ugh. Don't run there. I can't go there. So I gotta chase him away from the loading zone. If he touches the loading zone, then we got a problem. That's it! You were running into my arms, almost. You were practically running into my- Oh, see, he'll do that. He'll, he'll play on the staircase. And since you can't follow him, you'll just run over to the next zone. Come on. Hide in, hide in a barrel. Hide in a barrel. Hide in a barrel. Seriously, you're ruining my scheduling, kid. Get out of there. I'll run this way, maybe? Seriously, you, you need to come out of there. Come on. Out you go. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna come out. Okay, uh, well that is highly unfortunate because I do have a schedule that I'm to keep. Um, you know what? Let's, let's do this. Stop right there! Have you some errand in the canyon? It is dangerous outside the town wall, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword. My apologies, sir. I was wrong with me to treat you like a child. The canyon's at Stone Tower lies this way. Be careful. Ignore that. I just need to talk to you to get the ch Where did he go? Get over here. Literally, get over here. This child. Oh my gosh, you're the worst one of them all. You're worse than Jim. Oh, come on! There we go. Okay, I got him in the, in the loading zone. Okay, whatever. You did it! So what's your name, guy? Link, huh? Alright, that school kid broke our rules and he's been doing all kinds of bad things lately. Starting today, he's out. I'm making Link a bomber. You guys don't mind, right? Right! This is the Bomber's Notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. Yay, we got the Bomber's Notebook. That basically serves as our uh, sort of side quest guide. Uh, number one, find trouble people and add their names and pictures. Only 20 people will fit in your book. Number two, promise to help them. We mark promise with promise stickers. Never be late with fulfilling your promises. Number three, whenever you solve someone's problem, it makes you happy. So add a happy sticker will be in your book. Number four, no removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of everyone until everyone is happy. Don't forget the rules. All right then, I'll teach you our secret code. Ready? It's gonna be the same secret code. Was it like one, three, four, two, five? Yeah, a one, three, four, five, two. There we go. And see it with the secret, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice was added to your notebook. You were taught the secret code. It was added to your notebook. So it's there now. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we can go ahead and call it here for the, uh, the dawn of the first day events here in Clocktown. There are more things to do here in Clocktown. We're going to be spending a lot of time here, actually. So, yeah. I think, though, we're going to call it for now. Um, I do want to showcase more. Y you know what? I think we'll, we'll deal with Night of the First Day in another video. Um, oh, by the way, <laughs> we can climb up here. Deku Link couldn't climb up there. I don't think I mentioned that, but it is kind of important. Um, let's see. Let me enter a place that has music so I can end the video properly. Um, I'll just enter a shop. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to enter a shop. I'll just walk over here. Alright. Anyway, that's gonna be all for now. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. 
you guys have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys bring my videos around. I'll catch you all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Until then, as always, take care.